Amusement parks are always cool settings for TV show episodes or movies because there's a lot that could happen involving the rides and it's just a really fun time watching your favorite characters ride stuff. Today I'll be going over the top 3 amusement parks and cartoons and this list is only my opinion so you're probably going to be thinking of something very different. Anyway let's get on to the amusement parks. Number 3 is going to be something I bet none of you are thinking, that one amusement park level in the movie Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. To be honest, I just wanted an excuse to talk about this movie because I love Scooby-Doo and this one is very nostalgic, so let's talk about this amusement park. The basic context of the movie is that the Scooby gang is going from level to level trying to find a box of Scooby snacks in order to go to the next level. The movie takes place inside a virtual world, hence the name of Cyber Chase. Anyway, this amusement park is the 10th and final level of the Cyber World. There's a cool amount of stuff going on. We get a nice montage of the Scooby-Doo characters running away from monsters while also riding bumper cars and doing various other stuff like going to the petting zoo. I don't know why, but seeing this montage is just so nostalgic. As for the actual amusement park, we didn't get to see every single ride, but it was still a really cool setting for the final level of the game. It's where things began to get real and everyone had to work together to defeat these monsters. But if we are talking about the specific things that make this a good theme park, they have a petting zoo. Does anything more truly need to be said? I get to pet cute animals even if they're virtual? Yeah, here you go, Scooby Amusement Park. You deserve this third spot. Number two is Beach City Funland from Steven Universe. Why, you may be wondering? Well, it has some nice rides, and the main episode featuring it was pretty cool. Beach City Funland's first appearance is in Season 1, when Steven and Connie use a roller coaster to pop a bubble, but instead they fly into the ocean, so that was pretty nice. This theme park did show up every now and then, but the main time it shined was in the episode Too Short to Ride. Steven and Amethyst take a trip to Funland, but run into trouble when their friend is too short to ride the roller coasters. We'll just have to maintain a healthy lifestyle in hopes we grow before the end of the season. Ah, of course! Let's just grow! <gasps> Shape-shifting! You see, Steven Universe has inevitable filler episodes and this is the amazing type. With the amusement park setting and the Steven Universe characters taking a break to have a good time here, you can't go wrong. Peridot's interactions with the rides were pretty wacky as she had no idea what was going on. You can tell from Beach City Funland's appearances that there are a ton of cool things to do, even if we haven't seen some of the rides in action. Still, I feel like this would be an awesome amusement park to go to in real life, mostly because it would be relaxing. And number one? Glove World from Spongebob. Let's be real, did you expect anything else? This is the most iconic cartoon amusement park for me since it's been the setting of several different memorable episodes. Its first appearance was in Rock Bottom when Spongebob tried using the Glove World merchandise he got throughout the episode, trying to light his way through the deep. One of the biggest appearances of this theme park is Roller Cowards, which showed us the insane roller coaster The Fiery Fist of Pain. We see the whole sequence where Spongebob and Patrick ride this coaster, and this deserves a number one spot for that alone. The day you've been waiting for is almost here! That's right! Club World has a new ride! It's big! It's fast! Roller coasters are my favorite part of any amusement park, so this would be pretty interesting to ride and insane. Later on in the show, there was an episode where Glove World was being shut down and then replaced with something called Glove Universe. Well, Glove Universe never really appeared again, and now we're seeing Glove World in the new episode, so I guess this amusement park has cool powers of missing continuity? Yeah, alright, that's cool. Number one spot's for you, Glove World. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.